special request, a request that I make what's known in our family as a new apple pie. It's a recipe from my mother. Um, it essentially, the basic ingredients are one cup of a flour, plain flour, a pinch of salt, a teaspoon of baking powder, and half a cup of butter. Uh, I use half a cup of sugar, a cup of water, and two tablespoons of butter as well for the syrup. Uh, as I always do, I'm going to make a double mix and the apples. I've got four apples here. I'm going to use four apples, so I'm going to double that uh, dough mixture up so that it's two cups of plain flour, still a pinch of salt, two teaspoons of baking powder, and a cup of butter. That's to make the dough. It's a fairly um, wet dough. We'll see that as we go anyhow. Uh, the apples peel, core, slice thinly. Um, sometimes I'll stick cloves in and some cinnamon as well, just some added flavour. Just depends how I'm feeling or what my mood is at the time when I start preparing the apple pie. So there we are and I'll come back to you once I've done the dough prep and the apple prep. This is where I'm up to. I've um, peeled and core the apples. I've got a cup of water and two tablespoons of butter and half a cup of sugar in this saucepan. I'll just melt the sugar in the butter. I've got two cups of plain flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, a pinch of salt, and a cup of butter loosely packed. Once I um, Mix that all together so bread crumb consistency. Uh, should use milk to bring it together. Today I'm going to use homemade yogurt that I made in a previous vid. See how that goes. So the next step for me is to rub the flour, slice up the apples nice and thinly, bring the flour together, and then I'll be at my next step. Apples are all sliced up nice and thinly now. Uh, the flour and butter mixture is all rubbed in. I've got uh, three to, um, soup spoons of yogurt in there and I'm going to just kind of combine that until it just comes together. This is not a wet dough mix, it's going to be a very short dough mix. Uh, it simply means it's got a high butter to flour content. Although those just come together, I'm just going to sit for half an hour, rest a little bit, then I'm going to roll it out. I've prepared a baking dish. I've just um, rubbed some uh, butter in around the sides as well. 
I've rolled out the flower, it's probably about two or three millimeters thick. I should have mentioned at the beginning, this isn't the prettiest apple pie in the world. But I think it's got a bunch of flavor. That's the um, pastry or the dough in the pie dish. Today I've decided to put a little bit of cinnamon in. Good enough. Just fold over the dough now with the pastry. So I folded the pastry over the top, put a couple of little knife holes in. I melted the, the butter sugar water mixture. I just pour that over now. I'll stick that in an oven, 180 degrees centigrade, fan forced for about an hour. We'll come back and have a look at it afterwards now. That's the apple pie just come out of the oven after a, an hour. Just let it cool down now before we tuck into it. 